and second intro and then uh, let you get back and know what you're saying. Okay. All right, everybody, we are uh, looking at our record collection solutions today. Uh, Mesfin is going to go uh, first. He's got his pulled up and uh, <clears throat> here's his solution. So take it away. Yeah, go ahead, Mason. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so uh, we just come up with one solution. Uh, always there is no one specific solution for any kind of problem, so. But uh, to just give a clear idea what is the this object is all about, it's a, a kind of music collection, and that collection has an ID, and each ID has uh, album artist and tracks but not all id has this like uh, the the values of the properties for example in, in this case only artist and tracks in this case only the album so there's no artist here and there is no tracks so this is how the the information is given here so the task uh we start from here if the value is empty delete the given property or prop property from the album so uh this is what it is if a value is empty then we delete a collection so collection means the whole the, this is the bigger object and the id and property. So the sequence is like object, ID, and property. And if there is no value is given, then we just empty the, the property. Else means if there is any <clears throat> value, and if that value, uh, if, if there is value means there's a property, and if that property is not a track or tracks, because one of the question is here. If property or prop is tracks and value is an empty, which is there's some value, push the value on onto the end of the album's existing tracks. All right. So for the first case, if there's no value, we just remove it. But if there is a value and but that value is not track then uh, we assign a value, that value, we assign a property to that value. Else if the property is tracks and that tracks has some value, uh, we make, uh, <clears throat> of course we have to test first uh, this, that property has or has it uh, like has a property of tracks we check like this has own property it's a predefined uh, method in javascript so we check exactly that track is existed then if we get the value we push that value into that same track else then we just uh, assign that value into the track Basically, this is what it is. It's not a, it's quite simple. And it pass almost everything. So we can test here. For example, uh, if you check here, this ID, this ID is this one. And this ID, according to the information, uh, doesn't have artist and doesn't have a track. So according to the instruction, if there is no track, uh, it assign a value. So this is a track now in this case, because we have ID, artist and track. 
that's a uh, yeah not talk actually it's a value so this is the our function with the three parameters because there's no value for the truck so we assign so now the artist should be bba Shri, do you understand what i'm talking about yeah 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 I'm, i might be a little bit lost here can you help me I'm kind of testing the, the object and that same object is here. <clears throat> five four three nine. Did I do yeah. five four three nine? Okay. Yeah. Uh, because there is no track, so it creates an array with the tracks and will move the track into the tracker. Push the track into an array. Yeah. Yeah, because there was no truck and artist, but now we push, right? Yeah, that's what I understand. Yeah, good job. That is the concept. Mm -hmm. There are only three tests. We need to check for three conditions. Yeah, most of it's like repetition. So if we, you check already the this is the empty value then it already uh answers yeah. so many questions yes then there are some repetitions so i just wrote separate condition we just avoided yeah. those repeated conditions yeah we saw we saw your solution yeah, yeah. and in this case uh for, again the second one is like you check whether the property is a truck or not truck yeah if you yeah not. so if it's not truck, then give that value to the property. And if it is truck, then you just push the value to that because there's already truck inside. Yeah. The has own property returns whether the property exists or not in that particular area. Yeah. Something like that. Good job, I think. Elliot, you want to try that solution or move on? Um, just open it and write the condition to every test we will guide you okay yeah then, then we will move on to the just read the yeah i lost my i lost my work uh when my computer went down so yeah okay no problem just read that uh, let me see uh, let me see if i pushed it there but uh it's okay i don't I don't have uh, everything set up on this different computer, so it would take me a few minutes. But I can uh, I can just work through it right now because that'll save us time. Let me share my screen. Yeah. What is the problem with your regular computer? Is it not charging? Um. Uh, yeah. It's with this piece right here. Okay. I need to replace it. Um, I watched a YouTube video. I can like snip this and take this apart. And then if I probably go to like a hardware store, I, there's a, some pieces that I can buy. Um, and it will be like an airtight seal and I can replace it. But um in the meantime i might borrow somebody's charger until i fix it okay um okay all right so i'm looking at okay so the first one is if props if props isn't tracks and value isn't empty yeah just okay. write the condition for that if, if tracks prop equals props not, props. Yeah, prop, not equal prop i think there is no yes, prop it's prop 
Markup <coughs> isn't not equal. Equal. Yeah, use double equal to double equal. Uh, yeah. So it's strict there. Yeah. yeah. Tracks and then. And value. Should I do an and? And like this. Yeah. And value is not. Uh, empty. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then regression. Uh, let's see. Okay. Mm. Um, update or set the value for that record. We got Alum's property. So we use the object is collection. So collection. And we need we use square bracket here because square we are using, uh, for ID. We access that ID, yes. Then, then and after that ID, yeah. Prop prop uh, equals is equal to equals yeah, value. Value. Uh there's a mistake up the spelling missing value. That'll be catch, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here we are doing update or set that value in our object. Yeah, can we test this? Yeah, Let's, uh, just it, test it. Maybe run the test. It will no, no just run the, the test. test. You don't need to go. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, it, it may show some green. Yeah, no, it's fine. We just you might get some couple of green lights. Yeah, show us the yeah, yeah. more go up. Yeah, we got okay. You get three at least. Update record. Yeah. Okay, we will press move on to the next condition and we'll see. Pause. Okay, and then an updated record. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so next one. Mm. So what did you do now is the truck, the properties are, is not a truck and the value is not empty. Okay, so scroll if it is, if it's now tracks, I gotta focus there. Scroll up and read that condition again, or the rule. Yeah, check the. Okay, so. If prop is tracks, if prop is tracks, but the album doesn't have a tracks property. Okay, so now if it's empty. No, the, there is no property with the name tracks in that object. Doesn't have a tracks means there is no property with name tracks in yeah. that object. Yeah. So we, we need to test that. If prop is tracks, but the album doesn't have tracks. So in the next, open, write in new if condition again after that. What about else if? And we can join that, use the else if also, but we will try to write some separate and then we'll join. Okay. If. Prop equals tracks. Yeah. Uh, use triple. Tracks, then. And but the also use is value is not empty. So we can write this. And value. Wait. Yeah. Is not empty. So. Uh, not empty. Not. Huh? Yeah. Doesn't have trucks. Uh, already. You will write that condition inside that one if loop. If the prop is tracks. At what point are we at the album? Is in from the ID? Yeah. So, so the ID tracks. Yeah, just uh, okay. Oh, clear that end and we'll collection. No, no, not ID. like that. It wouldn't collection, be like collection ID will return that object okay. for that particular album. Ah, okay. Okay. 
So just remove that. We will add the condition later. Just remove that and oh, okay, fine. Open that curly braces and here. Okay. Prop equal to tracks. Create an empty array. And the album doesn't have a track, so we need to test for whether the album has a property with tracks or not. For that, we will use the. Okay. So uh, an part. ID needs to be created, right? If inside if we will check that has own property. We will yeah. use that. We will learn the tested there has own property. If prop. Okay. If prop equal triple equals if. tracks, then if so now here. If collection ID not prop dot has own property. Write the if properly. I forgot to open the braces. Yeah, I forgot. I gotta do that. <clears throat> braces. You're right. If collection square bracket ID. Uh, square bracket uh, ID. ID. It returns that album object inside ID. that square bracket prop okay. has has own property. Is that property? Yeah. Just pass the prop so that it will tracks prop to that uh, has one property without no 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 uh, you want to okay we can use in that way also and then yeah, yeah. curly curly brush no no curly brush I think yeah if it is true then what we has to do you push um. it and, Push it, but create an empty the, array. If it is not, create an empty array. So the user not in. So add that. So we can change. Okay. Exclamation mark before the. So make it negative so that we can test. If it's add, not. Add exclamation before the collection ID so that we can before the test. Okay, so it's the inverse. If it's. Yeah, yeah it is inverse. So. Here we should create a array with tracks. No collection ID. Yeah. Use the square bracket collection ID. ID. And then push. No, no, no. We just create here. We should create an uh, empty array. Collection ID. Tracks. Okay, tracks. Equals an empty array. Equals. Yeah. Okay. All right. It will create an empty array. And after that, if condition, we will write that push. Okay, so let's run it. See if it does anything. I don't think it added anything. We haven't completed that condition. Still got to do it, yeah. yeah. You need to push. Okay. If prop is Before tracks, adding the new value, yeah. Yeah, and value is not empty. If prop is tracks and value is not empty. Okay. Push the value. So push I should the end of create this. Here only, in the, after that color. After that if condition. The condition is over. Come out of that. Condition. Outside of it. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where that came from. That was from that React. That came from the Mahi yeah. class. That came from React. Yeah. Um, no. Collection. collection ID. ID. Again. Prop. Prop. And then push. Dot push. And then push value. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we here we missed one thing that is if it is not empty. So we should mention that not is empty. Yeah, we need to delete the prop. If prop is tracks and value is not empty, so we should add that value is not equal to empty on the top if condition. After prop equal to tracks, after that and yeah. And then value, value not equals empty. Value not is not empty. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. All right, so we just got two more of these. Okay. And the last condition is uh, delete. If value is empty, if value is empty. Let me see if I can do this one without. Yeah. Uh, okay, just go ahead. And if, we'll I, if I need help, maybe I'll ask. How about that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Okay. But, um, okay, so if value is empty, so then. So this one's pretty quick. There wasn't much other condition. Uh, collection dot ID. And then drop. And then. No, no, no. Should I say delete before, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, Do you need to say Mikonon or? I think you don't need, yeah. Try this one. Uh, you don't need. Okay. Maybe it's optional. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. Boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, EB, you're here. Oh, how's it going, guys? Oh, man. You want to give this record collection a try? Um, I'm, I'm following. I'll follow. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do the recording a little bit. Um, I'll go back to the recording and review it. So just keep going. Just keep going. I had done nothing on this one because my work got lost. So. I yeah. uh, I just approached this one totally off the bench. I just ran out onto the field and scored the goal. So. Oh, nice. Uh, give it a go. I think you do better than you think. Uh, <laughs> um, give it a go. Okay. All right, sure. We had to stretch our legs and do a warm-up, you know. No doubt, no doubt. Um, uh, we believe in you. I believe in me too, but yeah. we're we're amongst friends, so it's uh it's okay uh, not to know. Yeah, no problem. Give me a second. My computer's just been slowing down for a little bit, but uh, uh where we at? Um where we at just it's uh, the records yeah. collection. Okay. In uh basic JavaScript. But uh I'm glad I did it because Yeah. Guys, give me twenty seconds. Okay, we're not going anywhere. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. I don't know, Shrikant might bolt on us. <laughs> right, right, Shrikant? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, this is the one that you just did, or this is a different one? Yeah, it's the one I just did, but... Uh, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, go ahead and do it. I think it would be... completed that challenge, I think. All right, so you were given a JSON object representing a part of your music. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually completed this one before too, but I wasn't sure how yeah. to do it now, so. It took me two days. No, no, a week. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. It took me a week. Yeah, well, <laughs> we just walked through it, all three of us, and yeah. we just did it in, what, 10 minutes? 10 minutes-ish, yeah. Less. Yeah, Props. Okay, so let me see what they got here. Okay. So it can be done. All right, so they got one. If the update artist should be Abba down here. Okay, so you've already got some solution working. Yes, yeah, just one. Okay, sweet. But I think it just came with it, so oh well. All right, I mean, so. you had to have done work before. Oh, yeah, because it's empty yeah. if uh, you reset it. Oh, really? So oh. you have you have some existing work there, yeah. Oh, okay. 
Um, reset our code. So we can try it from scratch. Yeah, I can do that. Let me do that. Reset, reset our code. Yeah, so let's see what it's like when you reset it. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I tried, guys. I really did. <laughs> All hey, right. you got you got a couple, you know. <laughs> All right, so let's start from here. <coughs> After update records, just read the conditions above, and we will write. Yeah, yeah you, you can read it there in the in the prompt. It's better. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first write, prompt. Yeah. Okay. Writer function which takes an album's ID like two fifty four. I mean two five four eighty eight. A property prop. A card is subtracts in a value like addicted to love to modify the data in this connection uh, collection. So, write if condition for this if prop is not tracks and mm -hmm. value is not empty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. There are several. Okay. So let me try here. Yeah. What we got. What we got. Yeah. The first if has to do with the uh, so. the tracks. So try to drill down into the uh, okay. the tracks, the object down to tracks. The tracks, okay. Yeah. So props is tracks, but the album doesn't have. I'm just gonna start writing it down here. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. So if prop is tracks, first write the above condition is not tracks and value is not empty. We if, have the. If prop is tracks, but the album doesn't have tracks. We have one more rule in the above that if, if above prop that? is not yeah if prop oh. is not tracks and value is not empty. Oh, I totally missed that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If props is in tracks mm -hmm. and value is empty. Three equals an assignment operator, or what yeah. do you think? Equal equal operators. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> yeah, that's. It. I always make the mistake of putting a uh, space in between, so that's a good thing. To... Right. Update or set the value for that record album's property. Update or set the value for the record album's property. Update. Or set the value. Okay. Um, Our object is collection. So collection. Is that what they mean by that? Okay. Um, sorry. Give me a second to write. Okay. So collection. Oops. Update. Or set the value for the record album. Pop collection. Collection. Use a square bracket notation here. So we are using variables, so use square bracket. The ID, prop, and value are like variables because they are coming from functional parameters. So write in square brackets. Yeah, that's. Wait. You use the ID. So using ID, we can get that album. The so, two, four, six. That those are IDs. So here we can access the album. Then access the prop. Sorry, I'm having like a little bit of okay collection ID. Then the square bracket prop. Okay. Yeah. Assign the value to it. Just assign the value there. Assignment value. Not equal. Wait, so wait. Assignment value. What do you mean by that? Equals value. That or that? Yeah. No, no, just equal. A okay. single. A single. Yeah, equal sign. Yeah, value. Is that what they meant by that? Yeah, that is the first condition. If you check that function, we are getting ID, prop, and value. 
So, hold on. Let me let me um, try to visualize. Yeah, it updates it by uh, assign re reassigning it. That's yeah. That's how it's doing that. It says it takes the value the and it, it, re reassigns it. it reassigns the the variable. Action ID proper. Which one is the prop? Let me try to find the prop. It just check the. It's within the ID props. Yeah. Scroll down and check the invocation. You will understand what is prop. Yeah. Yeah. It goes. It's it's stepping down collection the 40, line forty. Right. Collection ID prop. So it's stepping down three levels. Yeah. Line forty. You can see the ID is five four three nine. Prop is artist and value is yeah. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So Abba is uh, that would be artist. Okay. In so this situation. Uh, okay. So the value Collection of artist five four three nine artist equals Abba. Oh. Yeah. So because of that, uh, you're taking the value of Abba and you're assigning it to yeah. artist for five. Four three nine. So it will be. So we are gonna put it the last right one. here. It's gonna be. It's gonna yeah. be thrown in right in there, right? Right. Art, artists and artists and ABBA will be thrown right. Yeah. In currently, there. it doesn't have any value. Exactly. Okay. Right. So it's empty. So it needs it needs an assignment to what it is. Okay. For five four three nine. So nice. when you say equals, that means it is this value, ABBA. Okay. So 5439 artist value is ABBA. So yeah, you're, giving, yeah. you're creating it there. Okay. Um, okay, so we check that off. The function must always return the entire collection object. Did we do that? I think we did right. that. It's already uh, here. It's, it's already yeah, that there. was done. Okay. There are several rules for handling incomplete data. So let me write the other if You, you could run the funny. test and uh, see oh, yeah. what, yeah. Uh, what passes. Yeah, just this passed. Okay, let me see. Yeah, just this. Um, okay. That's so, a good start. Yeah. So let's do the other one. So if this right prop is tracks but the uh, item doesn't have tracks uh, how do we how do we do that is it using has own property using you can oh, check that using okay, has so own property inside um, that if condition so has wait how do I, how do I do that uh, insert condition open the if Curly braces and instead that if is the condition. If so, write it write it down here. Uh, again, one more if. Oh, okay. Uh, now write that condition. Collection ID prop has own property. Collection ID. Square bracket. Use square bracket. Has own. Yeah, there's a method. Pass the prop to that method. After the has own property, open the parentheses. It's a method and pass the value of prop to. Yeah. And I put props in there. Yeah, prop. Yeah. Okay. This is different from when I did it, but okay. Has own property. It returns to if there is a property, otherwise it returns false. So hold on. Give me a second. Yeah. Just read the condition again. It yeah, doesn't have a track, so make it negative. So that Collection ID has a property. Make it as negative, so we can put the exclamatory before that collection ID, so we can inverse it. Yeah, yeah. Now create an empty array with prop 
tracks. So I'm just going to have collection ID and in the for the tracks create an empty array. Uh, wait. Collection ID is part. Album doesn't have a track, so we should create an property track here with value of empty array. ID track equals uh, this. That's fine, but after the ID, write track tracks. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, okay. Let me do this. Sure. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm like trying to think through this. Okay, we can. Okay. Yeah, and then there's one more step after the empty array. Right. Copy tracks and values not empty. Just read the conditions on your left. Create an empty array before adding the new value to the album's corresponding property. Yeah. Before adding the new value. So.